So on our first video, we did some pretty cool science experiments with sulfuric acid. And in that video, I promised if I got 10 likes, I would release the second video on how to get sulfuric acid. Then this happened. Well, here's the video. Hello, my name is Levi, and today I will show you how to get sulfuric acid from a car battery. First, you will need a car battery, a container for the car battery, a bucket, a glass container for the sulfuric acid, a container for boiling the car battery acid, safety gear, baking soda, A funnel, a screwdriver, and the pot is basically useless. As you can see here, I am wedging open the caps on the car battery with a screwdriver and then pouring it out into my bucket. While you're looking at me struggle to lift a car battery, hashtag skinny, you should know that there's more car battery acid underneath the other caps on the car battery, so I recommend opening all caps on your car battery. Right now, I am just straining the car battery acid with a coffee filter to remove any junk that may be found. Now I will start boiling my car battery acid. I could do an extensive commentary, but my pubescent voice is too pretty for that. Yay! It's boiling! I could tell you it's finished boiling down, we had to boil it down more for the sugar experiment. The reason we have to boil down the car battery acid is because about 20% of the car battery acid is sulfuric acid, and the rest is water, which we have to boil out. And this is basically the finished product. Don't forget to like and subscribe and slap that bell.